these neon lights shine Light up the streets, I know I'm not alone Welcome to my channel where I try to do makeup. Operative word being try, hey? So today I created like a coppery halo eye and I used the Morphe 35O for the entire look. Which is crazy because I usually go across so many different palettes. But I wanted to keep it just to one palette so it would be easier to recreate. Also I didn't use the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette once which is crazy. That palette is my baby! I use it literally every day. But I only use this one today and I have to say I love this one. I was about to say just as much. Maybe not just as much. That one, that one means a lot to me. But this one's just like, look, let me open it so you can see. They're all really warm colours and it's got loads of oranges and just, it's beautiful. It's the only palette that I've ever used by itself without the masquerade palette. So that's definitely saying something. And yeah, if you like this makeup look and you'd like to know how to get it, then please keep watching. So that's an eyeshadow base. I'm going to use the matte pale blue. I call them Paintly Paint Pots, but that's not what it's called. That's the shade name. Damn it. That's MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Just to pram the lids. Just to pram. Looking good, Mr. Carter. I probably said that wrong. That was a quote from somewhere. Okay, so as that was a disaster, now I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna use that to prime the eyelids. Please work. I'm being a butthead. That's so much better. Just get rid of the paint pot. Okay, so then from the Morphe 35O palette, okay, so then I'm taking the whitest shade the whitest shade, the lightest shade, or any shade that matches your skin colour from the palette and putting that on my lids. Then I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and take the a transition colour, I'm going to use this one and put that in my crease. And I'm trying to bring that all the way into the inner corner because usually I only put shades on the outer corner. Which looks fine when you're looking straight ahead, but then if you look down or anything, it's just like all the eyeshadow is there and there's nothing here. Okay, now I'm just taking a slightly smaller brush and taking a slightly darker shade. I'm going to use this one and put that in my crease, but a bit lower. It amazes me every time I use a Morphe palette how pigmented they are, especially for the price. They're so cheap. How do they make such good pigments? Good pigments. Good pigmentation. I just ordered the Jacqueline or Morphe palette. I'm so excited for when it turns up. I want to bathe in it, but I mean, I don't want to do that because I want to use them. I just want to spread them all over my face. They look so beautiful. So now I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to take... Hmm, mom, 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 mom. this shade here, I just put that just in the middle of the lid. I think I'm going to try and go for a bit of a halo eye. I say try because usually when I try doing these, I just end up with it everywhere. I get carried away. I'm just going to spritz my brush a little bit just to intensify that pigment. And then I'm going to take this darkest brownish copper shade right on the corner. Don't dig your fingers in there because you will end up with it all over your face. Much like me whenever I do one of these and I'm like, oh, look at this. And then I touch this and leaning on my face later and it's like brown, brown, brown. If you're going for that look, great. But I don't like army stripes on the daily. So I'm going to take this shade here and I'm going to use that to halo. So I'm going to put some on the outer corner. And some on the inner corner. I 
I still feel like my eyes are turning into a knee pull at an ice cream and it's making me hungry. Now I'm just going to take this little brush again, little, little, little brush again, and go back into the crease with that dark brown shade I used before. And just use it to blend these all together. I'm just going to go in with a bit of a smaller brush, spritz it again with some Fix Plus, dry it off and take some of that light shade once again and just pack that in the middle. Then I'm just going to take some of the orange shade in the corner here and use that on the edges to, to blend those two together. Now I'm just going to take that dark shade again and intensify the halo. That pigment is crazy though! Oh my god! That pigment is crazy for any price tag. Oh, I'm just going back into the crease with that dark crease shade and just blending out the corner. <laughs> Is it just me or do you feel like it's impossible to get it even? I feel like they're really <laughs> off centre, but this seems even to me. Are my eyes just one this way? What? Like, what? What is happening? And then I'm just going to take a slightly fluffier brush and take the first crease shade, which was the lightest brown, this one, and just use that in the crease as well just to fluff it out a little. Okay, I think I'm going to move on to the face. And this is a good thing about doing your eyes first, because take a look at my face. It looks like I've got Sawyer one gone. Because they've got fallout literally everywhere. Looks, oh, it could be like a million blackheads, which, whew, I mean, that'd be a really satisfying nose strip, but also nasty as hell. So now I can just rub this off and then carry on. Or if you're a dummy like me, press it into your face. Okay, so I'm just going to use a cotton ball and some cleanser just to get this off. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some of this in camera transit, in transit camera close up. It's a moisturizer, primer, and mask in one. And I'm all for multitasking, so bring it on. So I'm just going to let that dry for a bit so that my foundation doesn't slip and line. We don't want an oil slick. I already have that. Just, just want it to sit nicely. So let this sit for a little bit and that should be sorted. I always feel like I look so weird when I have eye makeup on and no eyebrows. I feel half baked. No, you know what I feel like? I feel like cookie dough. But cookie dough that you put in the oven but you left the oven door open and half of the cookie cooked. Half of it didn't cook. And it's just like half baked. That's how I feel like with just eyes and no eyebrows. Well, not no eyebrows. I have eyebrows. You know what I'm talking about. They're not filled in. It kind of creeps me out a little bit. And I guess a half baked cookie sounds kind of good. Like half baked ice cream. But, but the aesthetic wouldn't be there. You know, the cookie aesthetic. That's the problem. Maybe it'd still be delicious, but it would look strange. Look strange. I think I've given this way too much thought. Too many cookies on the brain. Okay, so that seems to have dried a bit. So now it's time to concoct my foundation, which is just mixing two colors. But I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow food coloring 
which seems a bit weird and I don't know how this is going to work, maybe it will stay in my skin, but I am extremely yellow and I've never found the foundation that's yellow enough for me. So I'm going to make it yellow. We shall see if I turn into an actual lemon after putting this on my face. Wish me luck! Oh, a triple video. Whoa, that is really yellow. If I mean I am really yellow, so maybe this is the perfect shade. I'm used to just putting my foundation on and then thinking it looks fine because it looks like my skin on my face, but then I look at my neck and it's yellow, so it's like white yellow. Oh my god, I'm Krusty the Clown. I think this might be the perfect colour for me actually. And that was literally the yellowest thing I've ever seen. So, I am an actual lemon. This couldn't stain my skin because my skin is yellow with it. Time to conceal and sharpen up these edges. Oh, I never stayed. I'm using this heart shake tape. Of course, what else? I am a creature of habit. But when you find something that works, you know. Don't fix it if it ain't broken. Okay, now I'm just gonna set with the velvetizer been loving this ever since I used it. I don't know whether, look how finely milled it is. It just flies around everywhere, which isn't an ideal situation, but I'll live with that for the finish that it gives on the skin. This is a pot of magic, let me tell you. It makes you look almost airbrushed. Whew. Be careful though, did you just see that cloud of smoke? Abracadabra! What changed? Do you notice something? I mean, how can you not? The biggest thing on my face, apart from my nose. The, the two biggest things on my face. Oh, on my forehead and... My face is just large, is, is what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take the fan brush again and the same bronzer because this combination is everything, everything. And then for cheeks, I'm going to take. I think this is Libard Libard the Nars blushes like this. I'll leave the name in the description and put that on my cheeks. And then for everyone's favourite part, highlight, I'm going to use the Over Beverly Hills, but just the. Just see how much fallout came out. <laughs> I'm just going to use the the lightest two shades this champagne color and the white color because i don't want anything too pinky as like i feel like my eyes are but well, they're not pink but you know what i mean i feel like the pink and the orange would be a bit too much so i'm just going to use these two okay back to the eyes i'm just going to use this little tiny first i'm going to fight Okay, so back to the eyes, I'm just going to take this pencil brush and take some of the same shade that I used in my transition, the same shade that I use as a transition shade and just use that to smoke out that. Is it just me or when you're putting eyeshadow on do you feel the need to go? Like a, some sort of pop of fish and like, can you see me? I'm so attractive. I think I'm joking, I'm not. I'll just take my mouth out the camera so you don't have to look at that. And then I'm just gonna take a slightly smaller brush and take some of the darker crease shade and put that close to the lash line. Then I'm just gonna take the small pencil brush again. 
this is not the brush. Don't do that one. Don't do that. Take the pencil brush and get some of the transition shade and mix that all together. Now I'm just going to take a flat brush and take that first white shade and use that as a brow bone highlight. Then mascara, I'm going to use this one, of course, the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. Maybelline, not L'Oreal. Oh my god. Maybelline, not L'Oreal, because I always get that wrong. Okay, just to finish things off, I'm going to use this... Maybelline Colour Sensation in Velvet Beige. Then I'm gonna whip my hair back off. Ow, my brain. Is anyone else, when you shake your head around, it feels like your brain's moving around? Maybe it's because mine's so small and such a large head. I feel like that's a little too pink for this look though, so I'm gonna go on top of it with some Bear It All by Wet n Wild. Please don't look at mine, it's real nasty. And we're done. This was my attempt at a halo eye. I say attempt because well, I mean, we can see, we can see why. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope you're happy. Um, bye.